That is horrible. Okay, please. Chapter 8 is brand new. We need a chapter 7. Lots of stuff. Okay, please. Quad, what is a quadrilateral? We learned four sides, pen, polygon. Polygon, regular or not regular, convex or concave, diagonal, in, interior angle, exterior angles. Those concepts we learned many, many days ago. I hope you, you understand. Okay, if you don't understand, interrupt me. Now, in here angles of a polygon, we learned something before. Today we go over again. The quiz test must be there. Give you a 15 gun. How many? The sum of the interior angles. The sum of exterior angles. If this polygon is regular, how many degrees for each interior, each exterior angle? Those kind of stuff must be on your quiz or test. So please. So first, draw a triangle, yes. Draw a quadrilateral, yes. Draw a pentagon, yes. Easy work, draw a hexagon, yes. In each of the above, draw all the diagonals from one word, word, vertex to, from one vertex. So you can see, you draw one, you draw one, okay, you draw this one, no. This one, one, the one, one, okay, please, so one on one. Can you determine the sum of the measure of the interior angles? So this is first important for today. Find the diagonal is second important for today. Two things today. Diagonal, the number of diagonal, the measure of the sum of the interior angles. So we have a formula here. The sum of measures of interior angles of a convex angle. Be careful, must be convex. Convex, concave, no. Convex is n minus 2 times 180. If n is 3, is a triangle. 3 minus 2 is 1 times 180, just 180. Quadrilateral, 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 times 2, 180 is 360. 5 gun, like, like 6 gun. 6 minus 2 is a 4. 4 times 180 is 720, so on and so forth. How to get this part? I hope you listen to me. Sometimes it, we have so many formulas. But sometimes you just cannot remember, okay? Please, I cannot remember also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 gun. Twenty gun. How many, try, how many measurements? Angle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can divide the twenty gun or this pentagon divided to one triangle, two triangle, three triangles equals one triangle, second triangle, third triangle. Each triangle has 180 degrees. For the memory quiz, we still have something to give with 360 degrees. Okay? 180, 180, 180. We have three 180. We have five 40 degrees. Angle one plus angle two plus angle four, angle five. Do you understand me, please? If you can remember and on the basis of the understanding, this formula you can remember forever. N minus two is what? Is the number of triangles. Each triangle has 180 degrees. So three, for instance, three minus two is one, just 180. So 100, 100 minus two is 98 times 180. Can you please? So N minus two is the number of triangles for this pentagon. 180 is each triangle, so times 180. Not difficult work. What is the sum of the measure of interior angles of a 25 gun? So 25 is n minus 2 times 180. Just, you can use calculator to get there. Second, a polygon has interior angles whose measure add up to 30, 60 degrees equals to n minus 2 times 180. This question is how many sides? We want to find n. You also use the same formula, n equals n minus 2 180. A, a sum equals n minus 2 times 180. But a sum is already given. The question is how to solve. Many students, n times 180, 2 times 180, move there. Don't do that. You divide by 180 for both sides. 
zero, zero is gone. 13 minus 18, you get 118. 126 times divided by 18 is seven. You get n minus two is 17, so n equals to 19. That is the easy way, best way. If you cannot divide it, and uh, cannot divide it, it's not divisible by 180. That is not a polygon. Okay, you just stop the work. For instance, you get 30, 160, something, equals to n minus two. If you divide it by 180, it's not whole number, di not divisible, means that is not polygon. Do you please? The quiz maybe happens there. For instance, give you, and uh, 330, the sum is 330, equals n minus two times 180. You times zero, zero. 33 divided by 18 is not divisible. You just stop. No solution. Do you understand, please? So 180 and this sum must be divisible. Now, next one, we have second important for today. For the Diagonals. Who remembered, I believe I showed you before, diagonals. We had, we had a formula for diagonals, for any polygon. Who remembered the diagonal formula, please? Mm -hmm. Diagonal, for instance, pentagon, hexagon, or 12 gun, 100 gun. A formula, I, I, I believe I give you last semester for a long time. Who remembered, please? Okay, you can see, maybe some students remember, who remember? So that's why, why some students cannot do some hard problem. Some stuff, for instance, I'll give you a diagonal, how to find the, the formula. You need to understand the formula. I'll show you again for the diagonal, diagonal okay, please? For instance, we have a triangle. We have no any diagonal can be drawn. Do you understand, please? You cannot do any, but for quadrilateral, you have one, I'm sorry, you have one diagonal, second diagonal. Can you find some other diagonal? No, just two. For the pentagon, one, two, three, four, five, how many diagonals? You can see one, two, three, four, five, five guns. Five diagonals. Lesson. This is enough. For triangle, for each vertex, we have no any diagonal. Do you understand, please? For quadrilateral, each vertex, only one diagonal. For pentagon, each vertex, we have two diagonals. You can see. The diagonal number for each vertex is how to get a two. 5 minus 3. How to get a 1? 4 minus 3. How to get a 0? 3 minus 3. Do you understand, please? Each word has, you have n minus 3. Diagonals. We have n word has times n. Be careful. Each diagonal, we count the twice. This diagonal, we count for this word has once. Count this for this word has twice, second time. So you need to divide it by two. N minus three is each word has diagonal number. Times N is every word has, all the word has number of diagonal. Why we divide by two? Because every diagonal, for instance, this diagonal, we check for this word has once. This word has once, do you understand, please? So only one diagonal, you count it twice. So divide by two. So you can remember this one if you understand the stuff. Sometimes remember the n minus four, last period. N minus two, they have very good memory, to be honest. They get n minus two times n over two. N minus four times n times two. It's good, but they just forget. Every word has just n minus three, not n minus two. Do you understand, please? Good. 
not a very difficult work. D decay graph is 10, 10 minus 2, uh, minus 3, I'm sorry, Ma times 180 over 10. The N over 2, I'm sorry. N gun, N minus 3 times N over 2. Pentagon, hexagon, 6 minus 3 times 6 over 2. You understand, please? Good. The quiz test this time must be there, so please don't forget. Okay, please. Now we have some questions for the exterior angles. Polygon exterior angles. We have, for instance, is angle, maybe triangle, maybe quadrilateral, maybe fifteen gram, maybe twenty gram, whatever. That, okay, please. Exterior angle is very easy. Any gram. No matter how many sides, angle one plus angle two plus angle three, angle five, angle angle n is three sixty. So, the sum of interior angle. No, it depends on the more the side is, the bit the bigger the number, the measurement will be. But this one is just three sixty as always. Angle one plus angle two plus angle three, angle four, angle five is three sixty. Triangle. Angle one, this angle two. So for instance. Angle one, angle two, so angle angle three, so angle one, angle two, angle one, angle two, angle three is also one eighty. Quadrilateral, so angle one, angle two, and angle three, angle four. The sum is also three sixty. So no matter how many. Now the question is. Mm, What are the measure of each interior angle and uh, each exterior angle of, uh, of a regular decay gun? The question is regular, okay? Before we have not di discussed the regular. If the polygon is regular, means every side, every interior angle is congruent, every exterior angle is congruent, you should be careful, okay? For instance, uh, angle interior, each angle interior, equals to the sum n minus 2 times 180. You understand, please? This is the interior angle, the sum. Because every angle is congruent, we have n angles divided by n. So every formula is, has some reason there. n minus 2 times 180 is the sum of the interior angle. Because regular divided by n, not regular, you cannot do a right. please? So angle of each exterior angle, just 360 over n, as always. The bigger the n is, the smaller the exterior angle is. For instance, n is 36. So this angle equals to, exterior angle equals to 360 over 36 equals to 10 degrees. Yes, sir, please. If triangle, regular triangle, exterior, each triangle, 360 over 3 is 120 for each. Yes, sir, please. You can see you have an equilateral. Every angle is congruent. So you can see this is 60, this is 120. This is 60, this is 120. This is 60, this is 120. Do you understand, please? 120, 120, 120, 360. Triangle, regular, because this is 60 degrees. The sum is one, 180, 180, 180. Do you understand, please? Every, everything is fine. Last example, okay, something that I'm basically I understand. Solve for x. This is required for case, but too easy, okay, please? Just don't make cares we say. This question, find the x. Because this is exterior angle for this one, two, three, four, five, pentagon. You add them 47 plus 93 plus 46 plus 3x plus 62 plus 40x equals to how many degrees? Mm -hmm. uh, equals to 540. Why 540? 5 minus 2 times 180. Do you understand, please? Yes or no? 
5 minus 2 times 180. Do you understand, please? So you can see 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, oh, this is 6 degrees. Uh, I'm sorry, 6. This is 6 sides. I'm sorry, hexagon. 1, 2, 3, 4. You have 4 triangles. Each triangle has 180 degrees. The sum should be 6 minus 2 times 180. This is hexagon, not pentagon. I'm sorry. Hexagon. Triangle 1, triangle 2, triangle 3, triangle 4. No matter how big the angle is, the measure, each triangle is 180 degrees. So you see, we have a big triangle. We have a small triangle. The interior angle is 180. Do you understand, please? Yes? So 180 plus 180 plus 180 plus 180. 4 180. This one should be 720 degrees. Uh, yes, 720 degrees. So you add them together is 720. Understand me, please? This is the same thing. Is that correct or not correct? Not correct. Yes, so we found this one. This formula is for interior angle, but this is exterior angle. This is not okay. Do you understand, please? So add them together equals to 360. Okay, not not 720. This formula is for interior angle, but this is exterior angle. So angle, this angle plus this angle, whatever, six angles, the sum is 360. This is the same thing. 11x plus 12x plus 37 plus 17x plus 50 plus 12x plus 43 plus 74 equals to what? 360, yeah. X the angle, the sum is 360. So this one is 360. This one is also 360, okay? Not interior angle. Interior angle is different because this, Exterior angle, exterior angle. Everyone is exterior angle. Now, it's your time to do assignments. Let me know if you have any questions.